Yes, I would like to be able for you to pray for all of my enemies that I will be able to use the wisdom of the Lord Jesus Christ, the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, the understanding of the Lord Jesus Christ, you to be able to overcome all of my enemies. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. You don't sound like you should have any enemies. You sound pretty good. What kind of enemies do you have? The ones that are jealous, hearted, envious, hateful, those like that look at me and look like I just continue to go on in Jesus Christ's name. Plus the Lord that made me look real pretty. He gave me my youth back. He done restored my youth. Yeah, I don't look like I should have no enemies, and I never even think I had enemies until the Lord showed them to me. I don't want you to call them enemies. I want you to call those that need God's touch. I'm going to pray for you. But David had enemies and Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I ask. Your word says we're to love everybody, even those people that don't treat us as well as we would like to be treated. And so I ask that you would take the thought of enemy out of the mind of this daughter of yours. May she understand that there are people that aren't in love. There's people that aren't doing all that should be. But God, I ask that she wouldn't make it worse than what it is in her moment of speech. Help her and bring her on. I ask God in Jesus' name that we could love what we call our enemies, that we could live in such a way that it is what you have asked for us to be. Minister to each of us and bring us on further than where we are in a blessed way. I ask it in Jesus' name. And I'm asking God a special blessing on those that are up in years and living all by themselves. Help, dear God, I pray everyone that's up in years and are dwelling in that house with no one but themselves in it minister and help them when there's a need for things to change granted lord i pray help us in our journey minister to all of us and bring us on in a blessed way. I ask it in Jesus' name. And Lord, I'm thankful that your word says we ought to be able to run and not be weary because I understand that my running days was when I was young and I'm not running in this time, but God let me be blessed to get on in a better way in Jesus name, but not just me, all of us, I pray. Lead us and guide us and correct us, I pray, when we need correction. Help us, God, to thank you for life, because life is a gift. And I ask that we could be thankful that we're living. Minister to all of us. And God, I'm asking that you would be with those that need to get a good night of sleep. Let there be that kind of a blessed moment. Dear God, I pray, lead us and guide us in all of our moment. In Jesus' name, granted, Lord, we shall thank Thee. God bless your on the air. Thank you, Pastor Bobo. Thank you. This, this 
This is Bernice Hawley. Would you pray for my memory? I can't seem to. I'm, I'm, I'm so forgetful. I'm starting to forget this. And I'm looking for something, and I don't remember where I placed it. And, I, and uh, I'm losing stuff, and I can't remember what I did with it. So would you pray for my memory? I surely and for, will. And for all those that are up in age past 50 that have that problem. And what, what, age are you, what age are you at, Denise? You know, I'm the oldest person that calls you. I'm 94. What, what age are you? I said 94. 94. Oh. I said I'm the oldest person that calls you. Everybody calls you is in their 60s and 70s. And a few is in the 80s. But I don't think I hear anybody too much from 90. All right, Denise. And, and I'm having trouble with my memory. I I can't remember all the time what I do with things. And I'm forever looking for something. And I lay it down and I forget where I put it down. And I ask for you to pray for my memory. We're going to really ask God to help you, Denise. I want everybody that's close to the Lord to pray for you. And I thank God you've come this far, age 94. But we're going to pray that you can remember in a more blessed manner. Dear God, I ask in the name of Jesus that you would be with Denise at age 94. And she says that memory isn't functioning as it used to. And we can believe that. But I'm asking that this daughter of yours, that is the oldest that calls, I ask God that you would continue to minister to her and lead her and guide her in every bit of life. But help her mind to function in a better way and be with all of us. May we all be able to have a mind that is functioning in a proper manner. Take us further than where we are. Lead us and guide us and direct us. Minister to each of us. Dear God, I pray, lead us and guide us in this journey, I ask that we could function as your daughters and sons are meant to be, that you, Heavenly Father, could love us continually. In Jesus' name, grant it, Lord, and we shall thank you. God bless your on the air. Uh, yes, special one wanted to find. I have the honor of giving you a mailing address. I thank God I have the honor of hearing your voice. Go right ahead. Thank you. If you can hear my voice, you are listening to Night Vision. Night Vision is a standalone, sister supported prayer and testimony ministry. Night Vision comes to you as a live broadcast on nights each week and a 